Good evening, I'm Alex Loroff. The law enforcement community and beyond is remembering the life and legacy of Eau Claire County Sheriff Ron Kramer. This afternoon, people lined the street in front of the county government center on 2nd Avenue as squad cars escorted the hearse. We learned last night that Sheriff Kramer died unexpectedly. Kramer was first elected to serve as Eau Claire County Sheriff in 1996. Earlier this year, he announced plans to retire at the end of this current term. Following Kramer's unexpected death, it was announced under Sheriff Corey Shalinsky is assuming the responsibilities of Sheriff until the upcoming election or appointment by the governor. Well, news of Sheriff Kramer's death has been a shock to everyone, including those he worked with on a daily basis. First News at Nine's Bob Gallagher reflects on his nearly half century of service and dedication to those living in Eau Claire County. We're hurting right now. Sheriff Kramer was our leader. Ron Kramer led the Eau Claire County Sheriff's Department for 26 years, since 1996, when he was elected as a write-in candidate. A lot of things were against us. The odds were very much against us. Began his law enforcement career in the county in 1975, and for the past 47 years, it was Kramer's tireless work ethic and professionalism that gained the respect of his peers. We can also turn the turret to have the shield face wherever we want. Sheriff Kramer uh, has dedicated his entire career to Eau Claire law enforcement. He was born and raised here. He was so proud to serve the Eau Claire community. And you saw that every day. For Eau Claire County under Sheriff Corey Shalinsky, his memories of Kramer go back to middle school. When I was elected sheriff for the day in sixth grade, I got to come up here and, and meet Sheriff Kramer and to serve as his undersheriff was a complete honor. He, he's been a mentor to so many, uh, we're gonna miss him. For Eau Claire Police Chief Matt Rokas, Sheriff Kramer was looked upon as a pillar in the law enforcement community. His expectations for others were the same that he held for himself. Sheriff Kramer had ex exceptionally high standards, um, high standards for himself, and he also showed that he expected it from everyone around him, uh, that they ex show character, exemplify integrity. And uh, Ron had an unmatched enthusiasm for the law enforcement profession. He loved what he did, he loved serving others, and he truly cared about our community and everyone he worked with. And we always say it's like a pointer system. Get us pointed in the right direction, let us do our job, and then we'll put the case together. Ron Kramer was especially proud of his work with the West Central Drug Task Force, his leadership unmatched in tackling illegal drug-related criminal activity. A huge part of Sheriff Kramer's legacy is his ability to bring people together and bring partner agencies together. A good example is the West Central Drug Task Force, where area agencies could work together, dealing with some big issues that have a hard impact, a negative impact on our community, um, all with the idea of making this a better place for everyone. This one? All right. This really sets off the Christmas for all of us in uniform. Kramer truly loved his work, and it showed in his passion for helping the people of Eau Claire County and giving back to those in need. Sheriff Kramer was compassionate, whether it was shop with a cop and making an impact on one life. We all have stories of Sheriff Kramer. Uh, throughout our lives. He impacted so many lives. His shoes are going to be very, very hard to fill. The bonds of friendship and camaraderie run deep in law enforcement. Chippewa County Sheriff Jim Kowalczyk says Kramer was always there in an hour of need or for a word of encouragement. One of the greatest personalities, one of the greatest sheriffs, uh, just a great guy, uh, a great husband, a great sheriff, a great patrolman, a great drug investigator. Uh, but again, uh, what I'm going to miss most is his care. He cared for law enforcement, he cared for regardless who. Uh, that's the type of person that Ron was and that's what I'm gonna miss about Ron. Ron Kramer leaves a lasting legacy of family, at home, at work, and with an Eau Claire community he so dearly loved. It was never about him and it was always, who is he going to impact today and uh, who is he gonna make smile? In Eau Claire, Bob Gallagher for First News at Nine. The Eau Claire County Sheriff's Office asks the public to respect the Kramer family's wishes for privacy during this difficult time.